Okay, let's begin with our first question. Again, don't forget projects due March 1st. Weather maps due Friday, those have been posted online, as well as a test next week in uh, many components if you are online. It's gonna be like in three parts if you're online. If not, uh, we'll be taking it in person with corrections, et cetera, et cetera. Um, number one, does anybody recall the pros and cons of, in, in, and I know my, uh, my in-person students, uh, they, I, they were not here yesterday, so I may need to help out most of this, but does anybody from yesterday remember the pros and cons of visible light versus infrared, the good or bad? If you have an answer to that, please add it to the chat for bonus participation. Give you guys 10, 15 seconds, and then we'll move, I'll explain, and we'll move on to number two. So the pros and cons of infrared versus visible light satellites. See what you guys think, see what you guys think. Okay, well, just so you guys are clear, so we can all move at a good pace today. Uh, for visible light, it's, it's visible light. So Angel, just so you understand, uh, when can it maybe not work if it's visible light? It's a satellite. When, when, when would it not be able to work if it, if it needs light? At night, yes. So visible light, it's got higher resolution. It's got better image quality, but it does not work at night, does not work well at night, doesn't show the images very well at night, okay? Uh, which means that infrared is just the opposite of that. Infrared, okay, it can work 24 hours a day. It can also get better images of clouds, but it can better look at like how high the clouds are, cloud altitude but it has lower resolution. It's not as high quality of, um, of an image, right? So again, visible light, high quality, only works during the day. Infrared, it 24 hours, but it is a lower quality image, lower resolution. Keep in mind, infrared is kind of like the heat seeking goggles I mentioned, those heat, heat vision. It looks at the temperature differences in the, in the system and shows it that way in colors like red, yellow, green, things like that. Number two, how is a Doppler radar different or how is it used? What's it used for? Do you remember that from yesterday, the very end of yesterday's lesson? Please add it in the chat now. I'll give you 10 seconds. We move on again. How is Doppler radar for number two going to be used? Okay. Doppler radar, guys, just so we're clear, there's two types. There's regular radar. That's for regular rainfall. But Doppler radar is going to be used for severe weather, just tracking severe weather, okay? So when you're watching the weather in the news and you hear Doppler radar, that's usually not a good thing. It means you may have tornadoes. You may have thunderstorms that are really bad, lightning, okay, hail. These radars are specifically used to track that kind of weather. And they allow us to warn people if there is a tornado making uh, landfall on the ground, right? Or if there's really bad lightning. So without these, if instead of getting a two-minute warning about a tornado, we now get sirens going off and we get a 15-minute warning thanks to these types of radars. Okay, tracking severe weather, specifically velocity and intensity of the wind. Maybe it's vor maybe it's in a vortex forming a tornado, right? Um, that's severe weather for Doppler radar. And then number three, we got to match the wind systems with the zones they're in. So Angel, if you re if you remembered maybe, uh, like we had temperate. Tropic and um, temperate, tropic and polar. And then we have easterlies, trade winds, and, and westerlies. Did you happen to remember what goes with which? So for easterlies, what goes with, or what, or what zone? I'll make, make me switch it up. What wind goes with the temperate zone? What was that? No, no, that's the cells. We're talking about just the wind. So either westerly, easterly, or um, or trade winds. For temperate, yeah. Nope, uh, temperate tr trade winds is going to be tropic. Trade winds is tropic. Just so we can know, guys, I just wanted to quiz. Just wanted to quiz Angel on it. Okay. Uh, polar is easterlies. Polar is easterlies. Okay. Think of pep like Pepsi. It's cold. Um, Westerlies is temperate, like West Tampa, right? Westerlies temperate. I always say West Tampa, right? Temp temperate sounds like Tampa. 
Uh, and then lastly, tropic trade winds. They sound alike too, right? So tropic trade winds, tropic trade winds for all those are the three for number three. So go ahead, take a moment. And then Angel, you don't want any of these, correct? You're good? Okay. Um, take a moment to get that down, guys. When my in-person students are ready, we're going to move on to our table of contents and do our only practice question of today. Only practice question of today. Give you guys another five, 10 seconds. Again, if I'm, if, if I'm going too fast, obviously take pictures or get it from the YouTube video, obviously, right? But this is official attendance. All right, uh, let's move on to our, to save us time, go to the table of contents. I want you guys to add pages 15, that's weather forecasting. And then 16, 17, we're gonna start tomorrow, that's for thunderstorms. Tomorrow we're gonna start learning about thunderstorms. Give you guys a moment. And we'll begin our only uh, practice question of the day. All right, uh, let's go ahead and do our first card, our only card question of the day. Again, you must participate in the chat, so do your best. Do your best because, again, these questions could be on the test. Let's check it out. Got to know our weather symbols. Got to know our weather symbols, right? Based on this symbol, what is the wind speed and direction of this symbol, right? So here I got to look at the line here. That line, what direction is it pointing? And then I got to look at the feathers. On the edge of that line, I've got two full feathers for the wind speed. Is this A, 10 knots northwest, northeast, B, 10 knots northwest, C, 20 knots northwest, or D, 20 knots northeast? See what you got. See what you got over here. All right, great job. Got it right, Angel. Please add your answer. I need to make sure you guys are participating. Add your answers in the chat. Okay, thank you, Joseph. Diego, thank you. I still need uh, Tatiana, thank you, thank you. I still need Amira, Daniela, Evelyn, Irina, Lakia. Oh, good job, Lakia, thank you, thank you. Uh, Yorkies, thank you, Evelyn. I need Sanaya, I think, still Sanaya. Thank you, Yorkies. Thank you, Evelyn. You make sure we are participating. Make sure you're with me, guys. Thank you, Irina. Great, great. All right. So let's go ahead and check out what the answer is going to be um, and see what we have here. Some said 20 knots northwest. And letter C was the correct answer. Congrats. Congratulations, guys. Oh, 100%. It usually never does that. It's awesome. Um, that's just for the, one, the students that were here, though. As you can see here, this line is pointing up and to the left, that's northwest. And we've got two full feathers at the edge. Again, each full feather is or 10 knots. We have two, that's going to be 20. I want to give, want to shout out and give props to Evelyn. Um, let's see, Daniela, Diego for getting that right as well. Only question of the day. Solid job, everybody. Solid job. Let's go ahead. I want you guys now to write down this question in yellow below your go blue. Go ahead and write down this question. And I'm going to wait till my in-person students are ready. Uh, and you're just going to, to, to start our activity for the day, okay? You're just going to, we're going to watch this video and we're going to get kind of started on this. Basically what we're going to do today, guys, is we are going to be in the shoes of a meteorologist, a, a obviously a, weather, a weatherman or a weatherwoman, right? And we're going to write a script it's like 16 sentences. I'll give you the first one for a weather map that I'm going to show on the screen. Okay. Uh, and you've got to make sure, be creative, but you got to make sure the script, your script is accurate with the symbols and what's on the, what's on the, uh, on the map and such, right? So this video here is going to kind of get us introduced to it. We're going to watch two examples, quick examples, a uh, weather forecast, one local and one that is, um, 
one local and one that is national, right? Okay, and I'm just gonna show parts of them, not all the videos. I don't want YouTube to get mad at me, okay? Because when they get mad at me, I gotta like delete, I gotta delete the sections and of those videos, right? Okay, so just off the top of our heads with my, uh, Angel, do you know, um, do you know, if you're a weather person, Besides, with obviously weather, what else? What, what maybe would they mention on their forecast? What what aspects of the weather are they going to talk about? What was that? Like, if I'm talking about the weather, what things do they mention about it specifically for a weather forecast? Temperature, Temperature highs and lows. Any other ideas? So maybe temperature highs and lows, rainfall. Wind. Let's go. Let's watch two examples. I just want you guys to bullet down um, ideas. Okay, about what what a meteorologist would mention in their forecast. I think you guys kind of have a good idea as to what it what it would be, right? Oh, one second. I'm gonna play yeah, advertisements. Okay. When the advertisements over, I'll, I'll bring it up to the screen. Still going. One moment. Okay, let's do a little local news station from three years ago. Have this kind of severe weather, three, four, five tornadoes reported today, and that is extremely unusual. I mean, we typically can see an isolated tornado, but not as many as we had today. Now, if you were picking up the kids from school. Or so one thing I want you guys to mention to write down is severe weather, severe weather, S-E-V-E-R-E. Severe weather is a big deal. What are some examples of severe weather? What did you just see there, Angel? Tornadoes. So you could mention tornadoes, thunderstorms, lightning, okay, uh, hail, fog, droughts, okay. You got warnings over here. Mention where the um, the storm is headed east, obviously here. So mention some cities. Mention where it's going. Just some ideas. Also, if it rains a lot, what can that cause? So, Angel, if it, if it rains too much, what, what does that cause sometimes? Floods. Floods, flooding as well. Let's, let's see some more of this. Or at work or just weren't home today. Maybe you didn't get a chance to see the radar. This is what it looked like just prior to 3 o'clock when the Weather Service issued the tornado warning. That's the red box in northern Pinellas. And over about a 15-minute stretch, that's when we started to get all these wind reports of about 40 to 50 miles an hour, some even close to 60. Now, in a tornado, it could be 70 or 80, but you see all those reports there. Look at all those red boxes. Those are all tornado warnings as these moved across the state. So, as I said... So, again, same idea, guys, just telling where things are happening, cities, where it's headed, et cetera, et cetera. Let's look at our main video of the day, another one-minute clip of a national forecast. And this is going to be very similar to what you guys are going to write here in a little bit. Hi there, I'm Alex Wallace. Time now for your national forecast. We're going to work our way through the next couple of days for your Wednesday. Things today stay very quiet in the northeast. But it's a beautiful weather, sunshine, 60s and 70s, and well, we'll see that again for our Wednesday. A little bit of wet weather, though, down into Florida. Scattered activity there, Orlando. So the first thing he's doing, guys, is he's going in every region. He's talking, he's mentioning states. So I would say add locations, locations to your question answers. He's also, what's that green stuff we see there, Angel? Rainfall, precipitation amounts, precipitation amounts. So you could mention like there was, you know, uh, 10 inches of rain, which is causing flooding, right? That kind of thing. So locations and rain. Let's see what else he mentions. To Miami and some storms that could pack a bit of a punch later on evening hours. We'll see that getting into the Dakotas. Also finding the temperatures heating up here in the Midwest. 90 now in Kansas City, low 80s in Chicago. These have been some areas that were in the 70s just a day or so ago. So next we have temperatures, temperature, temperature highs and lows, which I know was mentioned earlier. Okay, in different cities as well, right? Heating up out ahead of the system, that's going to bring us some of the storms. In fact, you'll notice on Thursday, that system increases the risk for storms, at least in the coverage. Minneapolis to Des Moines dealing with that, and we'll even see some storms developing here into the southern half of Texas, into Louisiana, New Orleans, Baton Rouge, over towards Houston, San Antonio. But look at the western half of the nation, very right. quiet, including... Col so again, same thing, just talking about temperatures and precipitation over the, over the course of the week, right? 
So you're going to mention the weather and the, and the location, but also maybe make some predictions for the future. So some things I would have liked you guys to include if you didn't already write them down are these. You're going to use these ideas to help guide you as you write your own weather script. Right? Write your own weather script. Okay? You got to make sure you got temperature highs and lows. You can kind of make that up as you go. Uh, make sure it just makes sense with the weather map. Precipitation. Weather fronts. You got to mention the cold fronts, the warm fronts, the stationary fronts, et cetera, right? The pressure areas. So where are the high pressures? Where are the low pressures? Storms. Maybe there are tornadoes. Maybe it's just light rain. Wind. Is it, is it going fast? What, how many miles per hour? Is it going east or north or west, right? Uh, warnings. Is there a flood warning, a thunderstorm warning, a, a tornado warning? And floods, like I said before. So go ahead. If you don't ever jot those down, make sure you got those. I'm going to give you guys an extra t uh, 15 seconds and we'll move on. Move on. Otherwise, we'll take a picture as we get started on our main activity. Okay. Uh, so have a, make sure you got a picture of that. We're going to move on here. So what are you going to do? What I want you guys to do, um, I don't need to know all that. I'm just going to explain it to you shortly. I mean, let me kind of fix the screen here. Okay. So what you guys are going to do is I want you guys, let's see. I want, go ahead and, and take out a sheet of paper or for my online students, you guys can type this. Okay. You can type this on Canvas. Okay. Angel, you go ahead, uh, uh, take out a sheet of paper, title it weather script. Let's see if you guys can see me okay. Yeah. Okay, weather script, and uh, your name will be on it. We're going to write 16 sentences. Okay, I'm going to give you the first one. But um, it's going to be, to make it easier for me, you can bullet point it. It's just, it's got to be full. Even though you make it in bullet for, uh, bullet format, it's still got to be um, full sentences. So you can't just say a short, like, there is a there is a warm front. Now you got to say, there is a warm front in Louisiana, and it's this front is causing moderate rainfall with no lightning or thunderstorm, that kind of thing, right? Okay. The date is 2 3 21. This is worth 15 points. And our, I've already posted it in the directions online. I'll explain quickly, and then I'll let you guys go to get, get started on it. Hold on. Okay. All right. Again, this will be on the YouTube video. You can take a picture of it. You can write this or type it out on Canvas. No problem. Okay. So let's go. Let's go back to our screen then. It's like my... I mean, this isn't notes, guys. This is an assignment you are going to turn in for a grade. This is an assignment worth turning in for a grade. Uh, let me go ahead and pull up the screen again. Okay, so um, let me go and skip this. Um, for your first sentence, again, if you're online, you can take a picture of it. Um, go ahead. For the first sentence of your weather script, you're going to say, hello, my name is blank, right? Put your name. And I am your meteorologist today with New Station 5. So if you didn't know, meteorologists, okay, when they get into work, they've got to look at all the data and all the information, and they've got to type up a script that they're going to read from a teleprompter when they give a forecast, okay, that same morning. You guys are going to do the same thing. The idea is that you are going to be able to read a weather map and explain what's going on it by pretending to be a meteorologist and typing up your own script or writing up your own script. The first sentence is going to be, hello, my name is, I'm with New Station, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. I'll show the map here in a second. I'm just going to wait till I got my in-person students still uh, getting situated. Okay, and then bullet that, and then you'll, you'll go to the next one, because if it's all clumped together, it's just harder for me to read, right? It's going to be, oh, let's see, I got a question. Okay, so just explain to the student who's met, who, to a message I just got, we are going to be writing a script for a meteorologist, so you're like the, you're like the weather person on the news, and you're going to make this script based on the weather map that I'm about to show. Okay, so let's go to that right now. Okay. By the way, Here's the map you're making your script about, okay? So basically, what you're doing is you're going to just tell me the symbols in different sentences, right? And tell me where they're located. 
Okay, so here, okay, we have a cold front. There is currently a cold front approaching Georgia. Okay, that's a sentence, right? Because you can see, here's the US map. By the way, if you need help with the states, you can take a picture of that, take a picture of that right now. If you like, I'll leave it up for 10, 10 seconds. Usually you probably want to picture that real quick, or do you know the states pretty well? Okay, good. Um, I just had a lot of students today needing, they didn't remember the states, so. Um, so yeah, you're gonna use what you know about the state map, just like, just like if you work for the Weather Channel. Okay, and you're gonna explain what's going on in different states on this map based on the symbols, right? So if I've got a cold front in Georgia, you could then say, this front is bringing about a lot of severe weather, including tornadoes, okay? What kind of pressure system do I have down here in Florida, Angel? It's a high pressure system, right? Um, so if we look closely, this high pressure, is that gonna be rainy or clear skies? Clear skies. So then you could say, there is a high pressure system over Florida, which is bringing about clear, clear sunny skies, okay? So tell me the symbols and then where they're located and then expand upon each symbol that you decide, okay? The goal is for you guys to explain a few of these different symbols on different states of the map. So for example, over here, we've got Nevada and Utah. There's a lot of high pressure systems. It's very dry in those regions. So we could, we could say there's a drought there. We could then explain more how there could be wildfires. If you really get stuck, you could uh, mention temperature highs and lows. With these clear skies in Florida, we're gonna have a high of 77 and a low of 58. That could be another sentence. So give your, write yourselves a 16 bullet, bullet point, but full sentences. One second, jo Joseph. Okay, bullet point sentences about the symbols, where they're at, and then tell me what weather is coming from it. As long as you state the symbol and the, the right weather with the symbol, okay? As long as you do that, you can explain more stuff after that as long as it's accurate, as long as it's accurate, okay? Uh, so, for example, I've got a cold front up in Minnesota and Wisconsin. This has brought about 10 inches of rain, which can cause a lot, which has been causing a lot of flooding in the area, okay? So all the temperature highs and lows, all right? All, uh, you can talk about fog, hail, lightning, as long as it's right with the right symbol, okay? I got another question. Uh, if somebody said they only know the pressure systems, what you gotta do is you gotta go back to the notebook or go to the YouTube video that explains the weather fronts with the weather. We did that, I think, last week. Uh, go to that, to that YouTube video, make sure your notes are cut. That's page five of our notebooks. So the, the the symbols here, the H's and the L's, that's pages two, three, and four of our notebook, okay? The weather fronts are on page five. Use that to know what weather's with each of these. Here's another one I'll give you. Up here, we have a stationary front. This is the state of Montana. Let's take a look. Oh, Montana, that's right. Okay. So we've got a lot of slow rain. No storms, but just slow rainfall. All right. This is going to bring about maybe some flooding. Okay, so be creative, talk about highs and lows, talk about warnings, to, uh, talk about severe weather. Drought over here, right? Again, just explain the different symbols, what states they're in and what weather is happening to them. Okay, um, but otherwise, all these symbols, the H's and the L's, we've gone over uh, when we just started the unit, the fronts are on page five of our notes. So all the symbols on here, we should already know. They should, they're already in the notebooks. We've already written, if you, if you don't have them in your notebooks, you gotta go, you gotta go to the um, YouTube video where we should have gotten the notes from. But these blue lines and these brown lines, don't worry about. Just do H's and L's and the fronts. Here's a cold front, another cold front stationary, occluded in cold, right? Nothing crazy. Be creative. Talk about flooding. Talk about tornadoes. Talk about hail, thunderstorms. All right? If you are even more confused, let me go ahead and, and, and show you this. 
Okay. So um, here is a here is kind of an explanation. If you want to know what's going on, the directions are on Canvas. You can take a picture of this as well if you want to read through and see if you're further stuck. I'm going to cross off some stuff that you don't need. Okay, and you don't have to do the other symbols you want to. Um, and then I'm just going to go ahead. Yeah, so I'm just going to cross this one off too. But everything else, read through this, guys. Okay, again, for us, it's due by Friday. You can type it up and easily in bullet points, just keep it full sentences and turn it in online. Okay, for me to read. Okay, I need 16 sentences, 16 sentences or 15 points. Okay, all right. Um, let me go ahead and double check attendance, guys. That is what we're gonna be working on today. I'm gonna put the weather map back up. Anybody else need this? Anybody else need this? Okay, one second. <clears throat> 